Hi Reddit, YouTube, wherever else I post this. Not Papa Emeritus here. Today we're going to be picking, gutting, and repinning this little LSDA cylinder. Uh, not really sure what the model is. Um, you could probably get like a lot of 20 if you wanted to off of eBay for pretty cheap. Like I got this keyed from a local locksmith for five bucks. Um, so I uh, currently there's just standard pins in here and I need some practice for this behemoth. Um, so I'm going to be, this is, sorry, the uh, American 1100, I think 1105. Um, so I'm going to be repinning this with uh, some serrated pins and maybe a spool or two. Uh, and for picking, I'm going to be using my uh, ever trusty S rake and uh, just a regular tension wrench from my Sparrows uh, Special Forces Edition of the Sentry Kit. So there's the eight picks, including that one, and uh, six wrenches that come with it. And then these are from their uh, pry bar kit, maybe. Uh, I'll link those in the description if I remember to do that. And then for all our gutting and pinning needs, we're gonna be using these mats, uh, this follower, and this pair of tweezers. And these are all from the Sparrows Reload Kit. Uh, I have the rest of it on my shelf back there. Uh, and I'll also link that if I remember to. No promises. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, let's get on with picking. So I'm just going to do this upside down because it's a little bit uncomfortable to do it without a vise right side up. Um, this might take a few tries. I'm very sleep deprived. Oh no, cool. I didn't make a fool of myself. Um, all right, so now that we have it unlocked, let's use this neat little like inverse sun gear whatever thing on the back of my follower to pop off the retaining mechanism. Let's go. Which, th this follower is great, by the way. Um, because I have this tool, I don't need to carry another one around with me. This is Ignore that, please. That would be my phone. Um, <laughs> all right, oh wait, I need that. Should not have put that down. Um, also, sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I think I'm getting kind of sick. So we're going to push the plug out with our follower like so. And now we can dump out our key pins. Oh, that's in the wrong slot, isn't it? Whoops. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of OCD with this. Um, yeah, I know this pinning well enough. I think that's right. So that goes there. And now we can align our follower and take out. Whoop, that was kind of messy. Oh, that was out of frame. I'm sorry. Uh, we can align that and start taking out our driver pins. I'm going to have to get used to staying in frame. Jeez. Um, so I, I'm not going to take out the springs from the, uh, from the cylinder because we're not replacing any of those. I don't really see a point in it. Um, come on, there we go. But, uh, there you have all the key and driver pins. And now I'm going to grab my little baggy pins here and we're going to take yeah let's say one standard three serrated and a spool that sounds okay so now we're gonna have to fish through this uh, that's a mushroom so let's throw our spool in pin two or, uh, yeah, two is fine. And there's our first serrated pin. 
And our second one is back here, if I can grab it. There we go. That's close enough. And there's our third. All right, seal that back up, throw it back in the 10. Whoop, that was the camera. Um, okay, so now we're going to put all of our pins back in our cylinder here. So we're going to align, whoops, let's dump that back out. So we're going to, uh, we're going to want to align our follower, uh, the groove in it with where all of our springs are and sort of ease it in there. This does not want to cooperate, does it? I just did this like six times. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, that was clean. I didn't even see if that was off camera. I was focusing too much on this. Whoops. Um, I mean, if this video was on YouTube, then you know it wasn't too bad. Uh, all right, so that was pin four. This is number three, if it wants to cooperate. Come on. There we go. And here's our one and only spool. Stick that in there. And our last serrated pin. I found you can also kind of use the uh, follower to like leverage the pins when you're putting them back in so they don't pop out and you lose all your progress. All right, so now with the uh, key pins, if you don't have one of these mats, there's a nice little trick you can do with the key. Um, I forget who to credit this to. I know I saw it, it was in the, um, the wiki somewhere on uh, r slash lockpicking. Uh, but if you mix up all your key pins, uh, when you're reinstalling them uh, and you have the key, you can put your key in and kind of do it trial, uh, trial and error. So I know that this is too tall for this slot and you can see that because it's above the shear line uh, on the cylinder or sorry, on the, on the plug. So if that's the case, then you can just take it out or if you have any other uh, pins in there, you can cover them and then dump it. Uh, and this goes in pin two. So I'm gonna put that back in there. Um, I know this is one. And then obviously if it's below the shear line, then it's too short uh, and your key won't work. So I'm gonna put the rest of these in here. There's four and there's five. And then you wanna take your key out. Oh my God. Um, then you wanna take your key out uh, pretty slowly so your pins don't go flying everywhere. I've had that happen and uh, those pins are now lost in the abyss that is my floor. And we're gonna push our follower back out with the plug and lock it so it doesn't fall out. That's a bus. Nothing wants me to record right now. Um, I'll be damned because this is my third take and I'm getting it right. So there is the spring and the pin for the retaining mechanism. And there's the little guard and put the actual screw piece back on top. And finally, screw it all back together like so. And now we can take our key and check that, yes, it does work. Cool. I had a little heart attack there because for a second it caught and I didn't think it was gonna open. But um, yeah. That is this little LSDA cylinder, uh, gutted, repinned, and not repicked because I don't want to make a fool of myself. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.